we should consider every test and trial as a gift from Allah. There's a reason why Allah tests us and puts us in trials. It's to help us gain knowledge and more wisdom. We start to question about Allah, life, and what we're doing. It gives us time to reflect on ourselves and gives us a chance to change. Allah loves you according to the level of your iman. The Prophet Muhammad PBUH life was a great test. He would teach everyone to come to Allah, and you'll receive pleasure in this world and the hereafter. But the disbelievers would harm the companions of the Prophet, and would kill them in front of the Prophet, but he couldn't do anything but to remain patient. Trials and tests are there to transform you, to make you a better person than what you are. This is pure love because Allah is giving us a chance to change and to come closer to Allah, so we have a better future. However, we see the trials as a problem. We start to react to the situation as a punishment. Allah says, I am to my servant as he thinks about me. If we think of Allah as the merciful, then during tests, Allah will be merciful and forgive our sins. If we see Allah as the punisher, then during tests and punishments, we will see Allah's anger and Allah may not forgive us. One day the Prophet Muhammad PBUH came to one of his companions who was dehydrated, with a high temperature and severe pain. The Prophet said to him to think of this as a test and remain patient. However, the companion says this is like hell, this is a punishment. Then the Prophet Muhammad PBUH said, The way you see it, this is how you will react to it, and this is what you get in the end. 